Hey, how's it going? Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some feelings I have about capitalism and addiction and where they intersect or seem to mirror each other. And instead of a view of me talking, I'm going to let you watch my cat have his reaction to a big old serving of catnip. But the capitalism and addiction the things that made me break in them was sort of really a lot of the way it's affecting all of our behavior in this time. And it's a lot of different reactions. Um, mainly what I see is that, that I find alarming is the but it's me but it's me i have to get my hair done i have to get my nails done i have to go get manure for my lawn because that's more important because it's me and we are so sucked into the idea of capitalism being god like above and everything including human life and for profits that many of us don't ever get a look at, don't ever get to feel, you know? And we just are like lemmings with it. I mean, here's the one thing, okay? Well, there's more than one thing, but this like really kind of gets my goat. And it's the idea that, oh my God, someone might be making more money on unemployment than they were when they worked which I know drives a lot of people crazy, but I have to lay that reaction in squarely at the foot of capitalism because my reaction when I hear that is, you're making more than you did when you worked, so <laughs> good. I mean, let's face it, after we are able to come out en masse again and intermingle, that's gonna be a different situation than what we're used to. Um, and nothing is going to be the same and there's no going back to after this and I think in six months there won't be any arguments from anyone about the need to learn to stay the F back from each other and not breathe on each other and not in you know puncture anyone's personal space bubbles basically and we will have learned respect I'm, I'm, I'm just projecting what I feel like it's going to shake out like as far as interpersonals. And the reason, I know I haven't said anything about drug addiction yet, and I'm going to get to that right now. And I'm going to first say that I'm basing my comments about addiction on personal experience and observed experience of other people, but, you know, my own observations because I don't know how familiar people are with drug culture, but it tends to not be something you do alone, you know? So I'm, as for the drug that I'm gonna use as the model, I'm gonna go with heroin, um, just because there's a certain feature about people that become heroin addicts that you will notice, or at least I noticed, when you see someone go from being like the person who's, I'm going to call it pristine and doesn't have drugs introduced into their bodies and hopefully maybe not much alcohol, but I'm just going to say the pristine person who's not an addict, who was not a user, if they become introduced to the heroin for whatever reason, whether it be social, like I said, and I'm just going <laughs> to digress into a digress about that and that is that for me especially when I was young and didn't have money what would happen is when I would hang out with my friends we all had the same situation where we didn't have much money but we would pool our money and then we would vote or you know draw straws however you want to call the little decision making process but whoever whatever substance got the most votes that's what we would all pool our money to get. And it wasn't always to my liking. Like, no one ever wanted to just get pot. <laughs> well, no, that's not true. But, you know, this is a different situation. 
but similar to like the buying pot situation at the same time but two different worlds of the highness and the effects of the being high from the substance so back to the heroin and back to the story um well like i said it's it tends to be social you do it with other people <clears throat> and oh sure lose your train of thought well i guess the point was is after the person has the drug introduced into their body and it's there for long enough you know like they're doing it regularly they are be becoming addicted and one of the things that happens when you become addicted to the heroin is for some people but a lot of people they lose the compassion uh, aspect of their personality they lose the giving a shit you know the giving an F it just becomes harsher and colder and more mercenary and really even though they might be uh, significant others with someone even that relationship is like the drug is going to come first and I know everyone has heard that before but it is the callousness that I'm trying to point to here that is similar to the capitalism where as we are seeing right now despite the knowledge that if you release everyone amongst each other and open up businesses as if things were as they were you know six months ago before all this happened then what you're doing is just spreading potentially spreading the virus more it's not safe it's not time to make that calculation because the way that things have shaken out the federal response instead of doing what we're used to and providing information and using scientific methods to collect the information so that we know who got sick when and then which to me is like the smartest thing to do because you can't say we're going to close down for two weeks and then at the end of two weeks everything's going to open and the reason why that doesn't work is because we don't all know when who got sick we barely know when somebody's sick and it's so weird to me that everyone like almost everyone is behaving as if this is different from any other disease we have and the one main similarity that made me just say the sentence before the one I'm making now is that you don't know from just looking with the naked eye or you know putting your hand on someone's forehead whether or not that person is infected or when the infection happened because as the president learned you can test positive one day and then the next day you will have contracted the disease you will have become infected that's how they work and then the next day you will not test negative you will test positive as in positively having the illness <laughs> just to kind of do my clearing up of that mess that I heard the president make earlier talking about how he positively tested negative and was just you know you already got confused people that want to follow somebody follow a leader they want that leader to be their savior and live up to the claim that he could fix everything and that he knew what all everything was going on and it becomes more apparent every day I hope to other people that that is just not the case he doesn't know he does not have expertise in that area he doesn't have you know it's just like his whole motivation seems to be to take everyone's eye off of his bad handling of the situation from day one with all the secrecy and trying to hide what's really happening as if just because you don't show it and you say it's the case what's going on actually in people's lives are also not the case and when your people are dying and you can't even be in the same house with them and you're having contact through windows or zoom or whatever the completely remote access type you know social situation is that can be laid squarely at his feet and he seems to think that if the economy is good i mean okay there here comes another digression there is this thing where it people talk about it it seems apparent 
Um, I tend to listen to a lot of, listen to, read, watch, whatever, a lot of different information, so I get a lot of views on the same subjects. And so, <clears throat> this guy seems to think, and a lot of other people bear it out, like, you know, stuff that you can learn from reading and it's statistical or, you know, in my case, that and psychics and cable news and alternative news and right-wing news and left-wing news and in the, you know, like, I just try to get a glimpse of everything. And he seems to think that if, oh, what I was going to say about that is that um, the uh, mysterious Wall Street Stock Exchange, it's like, it goes up and it goes down, but there's no actual worker production. The employment is being eliminated daily, and so the normal factors that would make that thing have reactions are just not happening, and it's been thriving it seems to be doing well, and so again, uh, illustration of how it has literally nothing to do with actual deficit, <laughs> economy, yeah, any of that stuff. It's something else. It, to, to me, it seems like a casino for rich people, and they need us to be the tokens, the chips, the money, whatever, you know, like they're flipping out, even though they're rich as I don't even have a word for how rich some of these people are, but they're so callous, and they, even though they're already rich, and like, the stock market's doing well, so apparently they're not losing money either, but I guess part of the gambling game is to have those pieces in there running the systems, which would be, you know, human beings, essential workers, non-essential workers, just people, because if disease doesn't care what you're called by us it's going to do what it does and that is infect you and make you sick but <clears throat> so the stock market is fine so I guess those people are pleased and as I mentioned the psychics well I mentioned that because at least one has said that you know the president is coming up with money from you know well they're looting it from all over in the government and that comes from you know, funds generated by the people, not people like Jamie Dimon that have huge salaries and are going to have huge golden parachutes and bonuses when, you know, the people that actually make the operation run are suffering, and they were before because they don't want to pay Jack's doobly squat, and prices have not stopped rising, well... It is so hard to get them to let go of a friggin' dollar for the people that are out there busting their buns so their stupid operation can run, you know, and so the uncaring thing where, like, that's, the money is the most important thing. Who cares about your life? Who cares what happens to the people around you that you may bring home? Just, they don't care. They just want you to do the thing that makes them money, and that is the callous drug thing that I was talking about. The the capitalism has been in our system from our earliest days. It is just it's become more important than the functions of our government. Obviously because those are just getting looted out from under us. And I don't know, I mean there's a lot of theories about why this is, but the one that makes makes the most sense, I don't know the, the where this is coming from the funding for these people, but it doesn't make, the only way it makes sense for me, the behavior of the Republicans right now is that they're getting paid to just disregard anything to do with the people and protecting them. And it's all about their own self-interest or their group's self-interest. And that's gross, but, and that is also like how the drug addict becomes like they, lose the giving a crap about like stealing from their relatives stealing from their friends stealing from wherever you know or performing whatever act be legal or not legal but usually not legal because if it's legal you like a job you then have to conform to regular hours and look a certain way and if they test you well obviously you don't want to be doing heroin <laughs> so what I'm saying is there's a convergence of behavior I believe between the stone cold addict and of heroin and capitalists like 
people whose main focus in life is, you know, they're a banker, they work on Wall Street, they do some, they have a business. Like, if, if it's some kind of thing that they're doing in a business setting and their main focus is to make money, not to, like, have happy, healthy employees, which would improve your business overall and your morale, which would improve your business overall and make you more money. Uh, they are more concerned with just getting the money and there are acceptable casualties and people are expendable and who cares anyway, they're poor and they're losers because of it, even though, you know, there are always reasons why people are poor and they get stuck in it, you know? And they don't care. They don't care if you're getting infected. They don't care if you can barely stand up. They just want you to get in there and cut the beef and give the haircut because you know I need one because it's me all right well I definitely bored the cat to sleep and that's about it for now if anyone's interested I'm working on part four of my paranoia series I'm almost to well it's coming soon so I appreciate your int- your attention if you've watched this ramble and i would just like to say thank you and good night